Continuing the 28 days of surrender, today we are focusing on Tantra and why I consider Tantra to be the path that works best for my clients and that works best for modern day humans who really want to live from the heart and at the same time want to be successful and want to create an impact on the planet and truly want to lead this way of a new paradigm, the paradigm in which we are living as love in which we um, we drop away the conditioned ways of striving for success but actually when we create the greatest success the greatest impact the greatest change by living as love so this uh, path is the path that i've been walking the path of tantra is the path that i've been walking for lifetimes uh, and this path is so magnificent, it's so hard to put it into words because it truly is all-encompassing. So the word Tantra means to weave. It also means expansion and contraction. And it's just this magnificent web, the web of the quantum field, the web of the interconnectedness uh, within the void of eternity in which we all are finding ourselves and so what's so magnificent about tantra is that it's really not a not a religion not a not a, a one particular approach to practice although there is certain lineages of tantra yeah there is this indian lineage which most scholars would associate tantra with and it has to do with like really working in the in the last session we worked uh, with a very tantric principle of chakras of energy flow and um, it's so beautiful you know there are those practices but at the same time the actual meaning of tantra is so much bigger because it's it's really that web that pure web of potentiality where everything exists and at the same time there are certain connections that are woven into it that are here to hold us that are here to support us when whenever you come to work with me with me you plug into the field that holds you and that protects you that nourishes you and um, it's impossible to have it without support it's very difficult when i see leaders who walk without spiritual support they have a hard time they it's harder there's more it's also perfect because there's more of this kind of personal growth that's taking place and more of kind of you walking without a horse, you know, you're not given a horse, you're walking by yourself. But when you plug into the field of uh, my work, to the Sundari field, you plug into the field of uh, the goddess Tripura Sundari, who is this uh, embodiment of Tantra, who is that great love that holds us all that great erotic aliveness she is that uh, you know i i have i'm honored to have a part of my name from her sundari yeah it means beauty of eternity beauty of all the world of the three worlds and uh, she is the beauty of god so um, when you come in and when you come to ecstatic remembrance that we are what we are preparing for and we have what like two weeks to go like can you imagine we have 14 days one four 14 days 14 days until we're gonna be together can it be like i was like can it really be 14 days can i check this i mean just a moment like it's it's like because we begin on, on the second of may it's thir thursday should be it's exactly 14 days <laughs> <laughs> time is funny like this right so anyway we're gonna be together in 14 days um it will like not exact like with the time you know with, with this time we're used to it'll be a little bit later because i'm in bali it's my morning so in europe it's it's the middle of the night so it's like but 14 days so in 14 days you will be there in this field of modern tantra and i call it modern because you know i don't want to get into any kind of debates with scholars <laughs> and i i want to um, show you that it's it's for my modern person for a person with big vision big goals big aspirations for a person who is radical enough to claim that you get to establish a whole new paradigm on this earth so uh, modern because it helps you activate your your highest potential in this life in the now 
And that's what we are going to be doing together in this three day portal. It's so powerful, you know, those short moments. I have my longer immersions and my next one is coming. We're also preparing already. We already started the preparation work. It's coming right after uh, this portal of ecstatic remembrance. We are meeting in Sardinia. And we have this immersive deep dive, like where you are completely <laughs> remolded and created into the most advanced version of yourself. But the three days of ecstatic moments is so powerful because it's like we gather all this energy. You come into this massive portal, you get so washed, you get so supported, you get so invigorated nurtured from your depth, transformed in this short packed amount of time, no distractions, no nothing, like go in. Ah I mean of course you know it's up to you how how you play it, but that would be my recommendation. You know, take these three days to heart. Go like yes I'm jumping into the fire. I am in cook me, create me. I am getting out of the way. So that's the focus. We are focusing on living as love. You know, it sounds so romantic, but when you are in my field, you understand that it's a field of fire. It's going to be very graceful and so beautiful. And you will see that the way you will be treated there, you will just remember how you have to treat yourself. And uh, we have very high standards in how we hold our clients in my team. And at the same time, you will get cooked. <laughs> And in a very specific way that will give you a lot of power and clarity. And uh, I am just so honored to offer this space. And so today I want to expand on this way of living life, this radical tantric way of living life where you give yourself to be used by the great eternity by the great divinity and um, through that you remember yourself as that and right now in the world and collectively you know i'm talking to every my client everyone is going through something but when we are going through it together and we understand that all the things that are popping up in home environments at the job with relationships, with your families, that all of that may look like these are different things, yet there is the same theme that we all are facing right now. And this theme is the theme of transformation. What you have to remember in this time is that your nourishment has to be the most important thing. Because anxiety, as I was talking yesterday to my dear, dear friend Barnaby here in Bali, he told me something that I was like, oh my gosh, this is the best thing ever. The, the genius, the genius thing. That he said that anxiety is simply the body trying to create energy. And whenever you find yourself in this panicky kind of state, because there's so much going on, you know, it's, it's inevitable in the sense of transformation. Uh, when, when you're going through transformation and everything you've known is like shaking and trembling, you... Yes, the, I am in Bali currently and the three-day event is taking place in Portugal beginning on the 2nd of May, 2nd, 3rd and 4th. We have two weeks to go. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be epic. So anyway, whenever you have this transformation and everything is shaking around you, it's very natural to go into anxiety, to get nervous because it's dark because it's unknown because you don't know what you are transforming into you like you know you're transforming you know everything is no longer the way it used to be but it may stir up a lot of anxiety and with that anxiety this anxiety is simply a sign for you it simply wants your attention it's not a time to make decisions it's not the time to to rush through things and try to analyze all the options available to you on the best right next step it's calling your attention. It's telling you, you are trying to create energy out of emptiness, but you are invited into the emptiness. And as a matter of fact, and the most paradoxical thing over here is that when you give yourself to this emptiness, to this void, 
that actually is so close and it's such a profound and beautiful place when you give yourself to it and you soften into the unknown and you go like so be it i don't know that's the honest truth i don't know what's ahead of me i know that everything that is in the past is no longer having any place in my life i'm no longer the person i used to be two months ago three months ago half a year ago everything in my life the whole geometry of my existence is completely different that's all i know that 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 which used to be is no longer here that's what i know what is here instead of it i don't know and that's the honest truth and in this i don't know the people who dare to admit that i don't know are pretty special people because the people who are holding on to i know are the people who are the most stuck and they are the people who keep speaking and creating content and creating their lives based on their experiences of the past that they know but the people who do not know who dare to rest is an i don't know are the people who are playing it big the people who question and they say maybe the good times are already over maybe i've already lived my best life because now everything has ended these people are the people who are playing the big game and this may sound completely paradoxical because you may be under assumption that the 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 cool kids that the big cats have it all together and they are the ones who are always confident always know what what's what and these are the ones no (laughs) i mean of course you know you only see a fraction of you know whenever you are engaging with someone's social media you only see a small fraction of someone's existence but it's still there's a flavor you know there's a flavor of people who are just impenetrable and they are they want to hold on to their constructs that are comfortable and convenient and they have worked in the past but these are normally not the people who will be a part of this massive paradigm change massive new paradigm establishment and the people who dare to be in the unknown and if you are one of these people who is like really questioning your sanity at times congratulations it means you're onto something really big because to surrender you know what we're discussing and practicing this 20 in this 28 day period now 14 days to go we're halfway through so what we are focusing on here is this most radical way to live this life to give yourself to the not knowing to give yourself to the unknown it takes so much courage my people it takes so much courage and this courage is not something you can fake this courage has been forged in fires lifetimes upon lifetimes you see this courage that it takes to face the unknown and to tremble because you gotta tremble my people if you are like stiff and you don't feel anything and you're like i'm good i don't struggle i'm fine bad news (laughs) if you're always all controlled and stiff bad news because you're missing out on life but if you dare to be on the edge of your existence and be in the unknown and be in the I have no idea what's from here. I am here shaking at the edge of existence. This is what's called life. And you get to love yourself in it. Not when you're done with it. But in it. In it you get to focus on your nourishment. You get to surround yourself with the right people. Take yourself to the right environment, such as Ecstatic Remembrance Live, happening in Portugal, May 2 to 4. <laughs> you get to focus on what matters. That's what Tantra teaches you. Focus on what matters. This stuff, fluff, that's all around you, is here one day, tomorrow it will be gone what stays is you your heart how you hold your heart how you honor your truth how you prioritize that what actually matters in the long run that what matters for you for your children 
current or future or for future generations, the legacy you're gonna live, how you're gonna die, how you're gonna feel when you die. Are you gonna look back at your life and say, I have lived, I have honored my heart, I have honored what, is, what matters, I've honored the truth of where I wanna be, who I wanna be, with whom I wanna be, or did I keep waiting until the fluff goes away and then I will start living? Tantra teaches you how to live, how to love fully, uncompromisingly. And this love is love for humanity, it's love for God, and it includes you. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> if you do not love and honor yourself and nurture yourself, first of all, forget about loving others. Impossible. And to really love yourself, it's always new. What worked as loving yourself a month ago, this is very different today. <laughs> you require more. You are bigger today. You have more to hold. You have more capacity. Deeper love is required. What, is, what deeper love means is for you to listen and for you to keep prioritizing the right environments, the right nourishment, the right food, the right thoughts, the right people, the right places. So... In the practice today, I want to tap into this taste of getting out of the way. This It's going to be big during ecstatic remembrance. Like, I really feel it's going to be soul family coming together. Like, the way I am, where I am personally now, the way I'm speaking about this event, I am sending forward some very specific codes that are not for the masses, that are for the soul family. That's what I desire. I don't want big, like, like extra big thing right now. It's going to be like this. Like, you will see. <laughs> the big times are coming. That's why I recommend if you like to be in a more closeness, this is the time. Because probably the next time I'm going to run Ecstatic Remembrance, I don't know if it's going to be this year, by the way. I was thinking that I'll have two Ecstatic Remembrances this year. I'm not sure. I doubt it, actually. But the next one I'll be running will be big. Like, big. So, <clears throat> um, Erich Fromm, this, uh, someone says that if I'm familiar with Erich Fromm, the name is very familiar, but I cannot recall any, uh, any, any exposure to this work. So, um, ecstatic remembrance will be that, yeah, you will be washed in the field of love. You will be remembering yourself as love. You will be so profoundly nourished from the depth of your being. Your soul will receive soul nourishment that will expand into your whole being and, and flood, you, flood you with just beauty of truth. And you will see that it will be very easy to get out of your own way with the work we'll be doing there, with the practice we'll be doing there, with the transmissions you'll be receiving there, with what I will be giving you there, the codes I will be offering to you there, you will see that you will come into a place of such establishment in deeper parts of you that it will be very natural to get out of the way and get out of your mind. <laughs> because when you're in your mind, you're in your way. When you're trying to figure out, is this A or B, is this place I should go to or that place I should go to, and you're comparing and you're doubting also your past choices and your future choices, you are in your way. You are in your head. You're not allowing life to take care of life. And so with the work we'll be doing together, you will see that there will be a whole new flavor of that. It will be on you to keep maintaining the work. And of course, you know there are ways for us to continue working together and continue for you to be to continue to be to be supported with the most important things however you will have that experience for sure and so now let's plug into it in the preparation we also i added a bonus telegram group so we're already starting to have a buzz on the telegram people start connecting some people may be traveling together staying together and like wow epicness you expect to have like a real inflow of incredible people into your life this is so cool i'm also so excited to see so so, so many of you who've been in a part of my work for many years that i've never met in person so that will be amazing as well 
But so, getting out of the way. Let's focus on this today, just a few minutes of practice so that it anchors you and you move through your day in this spirit. So, first of all, coming into your body. Uh, it's hard, like even just this is hard. I know this through my clients. It's just like, oh no, but this thing is calling. Oh, but there's a message, there's a notification. Switch off notifications. <laughs> you, you, what matters is you. You, 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 you. So give yourself, hello Adam, nice to see you. Uh, give yourself this grace of being with you. Just five minutes, literally people, five minutes of you. Can we do that? Come on. Do it! <laughs> so, um, moving your body just wherever you are. Uncross your legs if they're crossed. Move your pelvis, move your hips up and down. Move your shoulders up and down in sp circles and spirals. Hello, Megan, welcome. Relax your neck. Just give yourself some grace of spontaneous big movement. You liberate this linear, contracted, numb state of being controlled and okay moving through life. So giving yourself this grace of flowing, of just uncontrollably getting out of control. So as you let go of control in the way you hold and move your body, something in your mind might be resisting like really what is she doing can i repeat that don't repeat what i'm doing do your own thing <laughs> smile open your eyes look up look all the way up this is something you likely haven't done today look all the way up we want to break these patterns look to the back behind you to the other side yes and really drop your body down <laughs> A big inhale, open your mouth really wide. <gasps> open your eyes really wide. <gasps> <sighs> yes, we're breaking that linearity. We're breaking those patterns and coming to life. <laughs> okay, so this is wonderful. Just a few more breaths here. Deep breath in. Hey, beautiful. If you can make a sound. Yes, we want to break out, break out of that contracted state. Okay, and then finally just find a relaxed, comfortable position. Close your eyes, nothing to look externally for. Everything you need to look for is inside of you. So your eyes closed, directing all awareness in, 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 in. The body is soft. You can move your body a little bit just to, to keep the softness, not to allow the habitual contraction. And then just notice straight away, what are the patterns that are getting activated? You may go into worry, right? You may go into doubt. You may go into, oh, am I in the right place? <sighs> Agitation. Maybe there is a sense of panic that's been there, persistent. Maybe there is a sense of sadness that's been there. It's like even a depressive feeling. So whatever has been there, connect to it. Notice how it occupies your head, how it takes all your energy now back into the head. We just relax the body. And then now all of that, with those thoughts, with those patterns, you may see that it all goes to the head. So with that, you notice it, you take a big breath in. You expand your belly. The breath goes down to the belly. Exhale. Big inhale. Exhale. And then keeping your attention in the lower belly. Stay with your breath. Deep inhale for about four counts. Exhale for about four counts. Noticing the environment. Noticing where your thoughts are pulling you and bringing yourself to this breath four counts in four counts out four counts in four counts out and now making this offering 
this gesture of offering all these thoughts all the patterns that keep playing out in your life that are making you worried that are making you anxious that are making you sad now really imagine that all these thoughts they are converted into flowers and you have like a box open box in front of you and you just put all these thoughts like flowers there so those worried thoughts those thoughts about making the choices the thoughts about what you have to do next what what is to plan you have to decide where to go who to talk to. all these thoughts how to resolve this conflict how to respond to the situation all these thoughts are offered are all in this box now and you see all these thoughts they become beautiful flowers vibrant different bright beautiful colors they are all here in this box in front of you and just see them that they are separated from you they are not who you are although they have been informing your inner environment but now you're looking at them as something separate from you and now you take this box you can literally extend your hands hold this box this open box you see all these flowers all these things that used to seem to have so much importance and now you make them an off an offering out of them and you feel like that highest that which you connect to the deep in the deepest sense the divine love the goddess whatever really touches your heart the beauty the essence of beauty grace the great void you offer these flowers all these flowers to it and really bring this purity the sense of beloved i don't know i don't know how to deal with this by myself i don't know i don't know what's ahead of me i allow myself to rest in the unknown and here is all of these here are all these flowers they are all and my offering to you take all of these offerings it's may it all serve you may it all be expressed as my love for you may all these thoughts even though oftentimes they are scattered and they are all over the place and they are making me confused and anxious accept them as offerings accept this energy as offering to you and please help me help me so i can become the best version of myself so that my life truly serves the highest good of all so that i can help others on the path so that i can be the shining bright light that shines as your true essence beloved so just feel yourself in in this prayer feel yourself in this offering of everything that that is on the surface that is hiding you that is getting in the way of your magnificence so just feel how you offer the flowers and you let them all go and you feel that everything all the attachments you've had to how you are seen to what other people think about you to how to be to fit in with other people's expectations all of that is being offered now all these things that make you anxious that make you worried that make you afraid that make you sad all of that is offered now and just feel these flowers simply go to the source to that place where you've offered them and then just be in the emptiness for a moment who are you without all these patterns who are you in your true place of stillness of depth of love who are you just be with it don't look for an answer don't feel in don't rush to feel in this void be in this void relax into it it's like you can give yourself to this embrace of your beloved you are so good you are so held everything is unfolding exactly as it should you are opening to the path of your supreme destiny right now 
Så säger jag ut. Yes. Deep internal yes. Yes. Say yes to my highest love. And a big breath in. And just go through the day. So this practice took longer than five minutes. It was bonus five minutes. So ten minutes in total. But this is your path into your day. Walk through your day or move into your night from this state. This state of everything that arises on the surface, I offer it. And I come to the stillness, to this emptiness, and I rest in it. I'm not afraid of it. I can be in the unknown. I can be here. I am okay here. I am loved here. So as always, please share your impressions with me. Thank you for those of you live sharing here. And uh, also those of you watching the replay, please do share with me what landed for you. And I cannot wait to have you at Ecstatic Remembrance. If you know you have to be there with us, welcome to comment, remember, or send me a message, or find the link in my bio and go ahead and join us. Ciao, ciao.